Good morning. Police were trying to identify a woman whose headless corpse was discovered on a beach in Marbella in what appears to be the latest case of gangland revenge killings. Shock diners at a restaurant in the Las Chapas area spotted the body bobbing in the waves on Sunday. The macabre discovery was the latest case in which headless bodies have been found in Spain, as police believe the criminals used this brutal method to settle scores between rival gangs. Battles between crime gangs involved in the drug trade or human trafficking are often behind these sadistic killings, police said. By removing a murder victim's head and hands, criminals try to stop the police discovering the identity of the person because officers cannot trace dental records or fingerprints. Officers must take samples of DNA and check missing persons reports to discover the identity of the victim. At least two people died in a fire yesterday afternoon in a flat in Fuenquirola. The emergency services received several calls at around 1.25pm to report the blaze. Witnesses reported a long plume of smoke coming from the balcony of the fifth floor of an apartment block. Several vehicles from the local fire brigade, the local police, the Guardia Civil and ambulances attended the scene. At least two have died. There is also one person in a critical condition, another seriously injured and another with minor injuries according to sources. Residents were evacuated from the building whilst the firefighting operation continued as flames approached higher apartments. The government will seek European Union permission to extend its temporary cap on prices for natural gas and coal used by the power plants until at least the end of 2024, so the Energy Minister Teresa Ribeira said yesterday. The so-called Iberian mechanism, in place in both Spain and Portugal as a joint scheme through which fossil fuel plants' power costs are subsidised in a bid to bring down soaring electricity prices. The system is currently set to expire on May the 31st. Ribeira said the EU's power grid needs to be reformed to reduce price volatility and make electricity cheaper. Electricity prices in Spain have fallen steadily since they peaked in August, partly due to the higher wind energy production. And since tests began back in November, January the 16th is now the day that the Denia Catedigor Gos Benidorm section of Line 9 of the Tram de Alicante will be open to the public. In total, the regional government has invested more than 150 million euros in modernisation work on the line, which has also been financed with contributions from European funds. During the first months of the service, for technical reasons, the trains will run between Benidorm and Tialada, where there will be a change of train to the new dual electro-diesel units on to Denia. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.